Good morning, it's Pastor Bob Grenier from Calvary Chapel here in Visalia, California. In the book of 1 John, the first epistle of John, he says, here's the message that we have from Jesus Christ. God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. That's in 1 John chapter 1, verses 5 through 7. I think it is very important to remember the context and the uh, false doctrine that John was seeking to fight against, the false teaching of the Gnostics, uh, it had been creeping into that, into the early church, even as early as when John wrote this letter. One of the things that the Gnostics believed was that it's really only important what you believe. It is not important how you live. And so it doesn't really matter how you live. It's only what you believe. They, they separated those two. And John, of course, is putting a link between the two. And he's stating the truth is that uh, if we say that we walk in the light, uh, or, but if we walk in the light as he is in the light, he's making the point that what we say, what we do, uh, that they're linked together. At any rate, uh, as he's refuting this teaching, uh, what he does is he brings out at least two of the many blessings that we have in our relationship with Christ. First of all, if we're walking in the light, we're going to have fellowship one with another. Uh, that word fellowship, of course, means to be sharing, to be contributing, to be receiving, partnering. It speaks of communion, intimacy. It, it's talking of our personal fellowship with other Christians. And so that fellowship we have with one another is really a byproduct or an outflow and an outgrow, if you will, of our walking with the Lord. The second thing that we receive as we walk in the light is we receive the cleansing from God of our sins. He cleanses us from our sins. Uh, we'll be inclined to deal with our sins. We'll be inclined to confess our sins. And God is committed to cleansing us and to forgiving us. So uh, the blessings of fellowship and the, the cleansing of sin, they're both derivatives, if you will, from our walking in the light. And I pray that today, as you seek to follow Jesus Christ and dedicate your life to him, open your heart to him, that you'll enjoy fellowship and you'll enjoy the cleansing power of the blood of Christ and the grace of God. I look forward to working through First John with you. Many wonderful blessings in store. God bless you. Bye-bye.